much expected of him, but the headlines were far from complimentary. Everyone was a critic, you know, that like from uh, the first guy I met in the street until I, until I finally got in the house, you know. Everyone was a critic except for at the Arsenal itself. So uh, it's, it's been nice to come back and see these people that either walk by and, and know that they were wrong or else uh, have something nice to say back to them for a change, you know. Were you to blame yourself? Or would you have done it a different way now if you had the choice? Uh, well, actually, I, I didn't have any say in the matter, really. I mean, uh, obviously, I've changed agents. Even though I'm, like I'm doing like certain commercial things, uh, it's maybe only taking about 10 minutes of my time, so, which last year I was doing like once a day. Every day I was going and doing something. And this year, like, I'm maybe only doing, if I'm lucky, one day a week. So uh, it's only football I concentrate on now, nothing else, you know. Well, you are settled now, and, and, and the people around you have helped a great deal, haven't they? Uh, yeah, well, I've basically got the same players around about me this year, except when well, Marin I came late on. And uh, he's made a big difference to me as a person, really, because uh, I play well when I'm happy, when I, I wake up in the morning and I, I meet like Paul Marin, we have a laugh straight away, and it's, it's you get into the day like feeling yourself, you know? Instead of waiting up, worrying about certain things like, oh, I wonder how I'm going to play this afternoon. You don't think about things like that when you're with Paul Manor, you know? So he's helped a big... Mainly, it brought me out as a person and myself again. He's also a very, very talented player, as well as Tony Woodcock. So, uh, obviously, I mean, it's helped me a great deal. It's helped the whole team. Sanson with the... Well, it's all going extremely well for Arsenal at the moment. People are starting to say, well, you're looking like a championship side. How strong is the feeling in the Arsenal dressing room that that might just be the case this year? Yeah, well, I think I've got to say that too. I think I've got to say it could be, because we don't want to get like, go carried away with ourselves because we're, we're quite well in top at the moment. It's, uh, it's different. Like, we're, we're not playing as well as what we can at the moment, but we're still like, winning like, three and four goals. So... Uh, when things like that happen, then you start to say, well, we've got a great chance, really. <clears throat> because if we're playing bad and still pick up three points, it's, it's not a bad thing, really, you know. Well, Charlie, nice to see you you're bubbling and on your feet again. And, and you've got a message, I think, for the lads in the studio. Yeah, well, it's been a long time since I've seen, seen the lads, actually. This is uh, a new greetings card that I've, I've brought out. And I've just wrote a little special me message to uh, the Saint in Gravesy. To the Saint, best wishes and good luck. From Charlie Nicholas. That's only because he's a Scot and I'm letting him off. And uh, and get well soon to Gravesy. See you both at Arsenal's Championship winning party. I, I think it costs about three pound fifty, but I know that Gravesy's a bit tight, so uh, I'd like to give you this one uh, for free. And there's also for Gravesy. If you return this back in, you get the chance of meeting me. You know, at an Arsenal match. If he can ever find his way back to the Arsenal, if he remembers where it is. Well, I've got my card <laughs> and I'm going to fill it in, meet Charlie Nicholas.